Hi everybody, it's Ahol Ka. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, you like what you see, remember to like, subscribe, share. You can follow me on all this other social media platforms. Uh, let me first start by saying I had a video for you guys yesterday, but I got a little ahead of myself and I tried to edit on iMovie on my iPhone and I messed it all up. But I didn't give up. I think I figured out how to fade in and fade out at the ends. Uh -huh. And add music bed. And I'm not talking the usual music bed. It's not going to be this. Or this. It's going to be like legit uncopywritten music. So stay tuned for that. Um, so let's get right into it. This is my DCT Tour Honda Goldwing. It is 2019. I got it as a leftover. Yeah, leftover. Believe it or not. In December of 2020. It was kind of an impulse buy. And kind of not an impulse buy. Kind of not an impulse buy because when I took one of these for a ride in 2018, I really liked it and I planned to buy one, but they were brand new at the time. The dealers were getting top dollar for them and there was no wiggle room on that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, but it was an impulse buy in the sense that I was kind of in the middle of moving out of state or back into state from another state. And I didn't really have a place to keep the bike at the time, but I had a family member who had a garage that let me keep the bike there. Thank you, you know who you are. And uh, so I didn't really ride the bike the first year because once I got settled in my house, you know, you got new house stuff to do, you know, you get cleaning up, doing all this stuff. But when I did finally start riding it again, uh, I found the seat, the factory seat, a little uncomfortable. Um, I thought maybe it was because I was at a practice ride and I hadn't ridden that much. So I gave it a little time. I tried using a gel seat that I had, you know, one of those gel pads. That really didn't work. I went and tried the Airhawk. I used that for a little while. That really didn't work. So then I was faced with the dilemma of having to go to the aftermarket for a seat. Now, the problem with the aftermarket when you got a Honda Goldwing is they're very expensive. They're like more than aftermarket Harley seats. Um, so I wanted to make sure I did it right. I did a little research. I, you know, looked everything up. I also have some back and some hip issues. So I ended up going with the Russell Daylong seat because they kind of make the seat tailored for the individual. You have to fill out an order form, you have to give them your height, you have to give them your weight, you have to give them all this other information. You have to even send them pictures of how you want to sit on the bike and where you want to be on the bike, which I kind of appreciated because I, I, that's what I was looking for. And it was, it was rather expensive. And that brought me to, with the backrest, I'm like, well, did you throw the backrest in? And I had a friend who had an Ultra Classic who had a backrest that he had told me one time, get a backrest, you're gonna love it. So I'm like, look, if I'm going this deep for this friggin' seat, I may as well get the backrest. And thank goodness I did. Now, the whole process with Russell, it takes a while. It's a couple weeks or a couple months. And that's no fault of their own. They tell you there up front, they're like, look, uh, when you fill the thing out, you speak to the sales guy. He's like, okay, we're gonna give you a date when the seat has to be here by. And that was like several weeks from what, when I was first inquiring about it. And then once they get the seat, then it's several more weeks until the seat's done. So the whole process probably took about two months or maybe even more, I, I really don't remember right now. Well, now in that time, I had lost like a lot of weight. Like I had to get all new clothes and stuff like that, like that kind of weight. And uh, so when I got the seat back and I got on it, while it was comfortable, I was still sitting just a little bit too far back. Like I was, you know, if you have to reach for your bars, anybody who spent time on a motorcycle, get that little pain in your back, that was happening. So um, now to Russell's uh, credit, they will do a one free adjustment for you. I could have sent it back to them. They would have took time and adjusted it, set it up the way I wanted, sent it back to me, but that was gonna be a couple more weeks and I really wanted to start riding the bike, you know? I, that, I was gonna do that as like a last resort. So I get on my Honda fanboy sites and I see what everybody else is doing and everybody's going with this uh, kit for the handlebars, it's called the Heel Bar Kit. Uh, you have to install it, it brings the bars back like about an inch, two inches, depending on what you need them because of course it's a brand new Honda and they don't make it like an old bike where you can just unscrew some bolts on the on the top on the top of the handlebars and move the bars back and that would be too easy. Why would they do that? They make a whole kit for it. So if you've got some skills, there are videos out there on how to install the heel bars, but I have no skills. So when I watch those videos, all I'm doing is like, yeah, I'm just gonna break that, I'm gonna lose that, I'm gonna lose that, and I'm gonna break that. I'm gonna end up having to pay somebody to put these bars on. Now I'm getting into way more money than I expected to get. So I said, there's gotta be something I can do to move myself up to figure this out. Well, that's where the backrest of the seat comes into play. What's unique about Russell Daylong is the other backrest. Most backrests on these seats, even the Honda factory backrest, they insert down into the seat. Now there's an adjustment to tilt them back and forth, and this one has it too, but it, even tilting it forward, the, the adjustment that's on the backrest itself wasn't enough for me. I needed, I needed to come up just a little bit more. Well, here's what I did. 
What's also unique about the Russell Day Long Seat is it slides under and there's a space in the passenger backrest. So what I did, I went to the dollar store and I got a pool noodle. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in that spot. So after trying it out for like, you know, an hour, I figured out where I needed to be. Cut myself a little piece of wood, wrapped it in tape and cloth so it wouldn't rip the, uh, the material of the seat. And I got perfect spacing. So, moral of the story, if you have one of these bikes, and if you have one of these seats, before you go out and spend $600 on Russell, I'm sorry, $600 on Gila bars, try going to a dollar store and getting a pool movie. You can save yourself a few bucks. That's all I have time for today. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking in. Um, I got to go. I got to pack. I got a trip coming up that I'm going to be using my camper that I, that I tow with my motorcycle, but I'm not using the motorcycle on my trip. I'm going to be towing my car because it's still winter in the Northeast and the weather can change at any time. But I have some tips and tricks and some hacks on this that I'll be showing you when I'm in sunny Florida doing some bicycle riding. So I'll be filming some videos about that. Maybe we'll drink some beers. Maybe we'll tell some jokes. Thanks for stopping in. I'll check. I'll see you next time. A-hole cop. Thanks. Bye.